Greendale has big plans for a now vacant property at Southridge Mall, and it could soon be a significant change in population to the village of just 14,000. Like we've seen in other area mall properties, the plan is to add shoppers, not so much shops, by building residential. Broad Street puts the village in the village of Greendale. Restaurants and shops that ooze small town appeal. But the sprawling Southridge Mall property is Greendale too, and it's a critical piece. How important is that property to a, a, a village like Greendale, only population about 14,000? It's, it's a very big percentage of our tax base, so it's very critical that the village continues to work on it. Working on it because the mall itself is in foreclosure. And this is what's left of the old Boston store. Nothing but a few fixtures remain. Village manager Todd Michaels took us through it. We're lost. We're lost in the mall. Greendale bought the property for a little more than $3 million when Bonton went under. Village officials hope a new development will one day be worth more than $100 million. I hope it comes something like a Drexel Town Square, possibly. Jason Cyborowski is village president. The plan is to tear it down and do a redevelopment in three phases, equaling it's going to end up being 790 apartment units, really close to that, and roughly 50 to 60,000 square feet of commercial space. And it could even be more commercial space. There are uh, people reaching out to the developer already, asking if they can go into the new site, which is very exciting. But it will also be taxing. Cybrowski admits the top concern with adding that many new residents will be maintaining high quality schools. We've run the numbers with different apartment buildings that we have, um, and in the numbers we're still good with the schools. It's nothing to be worried you about. In terms of space, or uh, would you need to add staff, things like that? No, so we do open enrollment. Mm -hmm. It would just, we wouldn't be able to do as much open enrollment because we would need a little bit more room for students from those apartments. Late last month, the Village Board approved the mixed-use proposal from Barrett Lowe Visionary Development, but it's still a long way from a done deal. It still needs approval from the Village Plan Commission and other parties involved with the Southridge property. Nonetheless, Adriana, it indicates the direction they want to go in the future for that important piece of land on the south side there. Yeah, and if it becomes something like Drexel Town Square, it's going to be very appealing for people to live there to have both businesses and residential areas in that growing area. Right, and, and Southridge Mall opened in 1970, mm -hmm. currently features anchor stores of Macy's, JCPenney, TJ Maxx, and Dick's Sporting Goods. Marcus Theaters opened a standalone bistro plex at Southridge in 2017. Greendale is actively looking for other development proposals for you know, the outspots on the property, including hopes of attracting a hotel to the site.